Good afternoon on Friday, September 29th, 2017. It is 2.43 in the afternoon in Olympia, Washington. This is David Herman, alias Daz, the artist. And today we're going to do a buffalo eye in my 10-minute sketch, which will take us to about uh, 2.53. So let's uh, pick a color. So we'll go here, and we're going to pick a background color of this. And then I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to go to airbrush. And I'm going over here and make sure I'm on airbrush. No smoothing. No shape dynamics. Uh, change. That's about the right metrics. And I'm just going to spray down a background. This is going to be the actual head of my bull. So notice when you lay down a color, if you're holding your pen down, uh, it's all even tone. When you lift that pen and go back over, then it makes it darker. So that's how you get all these variations of a particular tone. See, that's kind of cool. And this is going to be fur and uh, stuff, so I really don't really care. All right, now I'm going to get my black, and I'm going to do a really quick sketch of where everything's going to go. So I'm going to put the eye roughly here. And I'm going to put some muscles and stuff around that eye before I work it up, just to give me an idea of where I'm going with this. So this is going to come around like this. Uh, there's a big heavy eyebrow-like area muscle. And uh, we're just going to rough these in. Remember, it's a 10-minute sketch. And then there's a muscle down here that comes around the eye like that. Uh, there's kind of a little uh, orbital socket bone there. Some stuff here. Uh, this kind of delineate comes into the uh, snout area of the face. And the head is huge, so... That's kind of our rough sketch area. All right. Now let's make an eye. So we'll go back to black. Well, we're in black, and we're going to go to the unairbrush part, and we're going to make the black spot. Then I'm going to hit that up again, just a little bit darker, and one more time darker yet. Okay. And then I have these little rings around there that you're kind of like your uh, muscles and stuff. All right. So next, I want to have um, an inner ring of like a cream color. I'll show you how we're going to do this. His eye is going to be looking to the side. And I'm going to kind of go about there. Do that and have a little fuzzy towards the right a little bit like that. Maybe a little bit more fuzzy to the right like that. And this. Okay. Then I'm going to come in with a black again. And this will be kind of off center, like his eye is rotated. And he's looking to the left on the screen. And then we're going to come in with a brown. Actually, there should be an orange ring of muscle. So let's, I mean, an orange ring in the eye itself. Hmm. All right, let me start that again. I'm getting mixed up in my rings. So I'm going to go uh, cream color here. Further in, orange bloodshot kind of a ring. Coming out into the cream there. And then the black, uh, which should be about so big. Then brown. These are tricky things, but not that tricky. Okay, let's do like a brown in here. And then we're going to do some stuff to it. All right. So I'm going to go to orange. Yep, that color. And I'm going to uh, do like a little bit of 
orange around this ring. It's kind of a bloodshot looking orangey thing they got going there with their muscles and the eye and everything. And then some of the more of that right here in the inner part of the eye where you see the muscle that meets the head. We're going to jump around with some colors here. I'm going to do some fast work. Just get things the way I want them. And come back with that. airbrush that's what's going on here there we go let's smooth that out with the airbrush a little bit this is going to be hidden but we want it to show somewhat these variations in a very tight spot you'll see shortly and uh, I'm going to have some orange around the eye here. Smooth this out a little bit. Like that. Go back to the black. Darken this up. That's a little more bloodshot looking. Okay, now I want to create the cool eye itself. This may be a two-parter because I'm not working that fast, apparently, today. Like that. And then, darken at the top. We're going to put the muscle around this, but right now we're just figuring out uh, the eye itself. I want to create the buffalo eye and its reflections. And then I'm going to put some light reflection stuff in here. Basically the horizon and the ground and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Get that in there. Hit the white highlight above. So come in with a strong light right here. towards the center. I'm going to add a little wetness to the eye. Just a little bit in this particular case. Uh, just a little wet right there. And then I'm going to add a, a touch of it over the black in this area. Give that nice look. And then we're going to make an eye in the socket now. So we're going to come in. I'm going to put this muscle in. See, they have that look kind of like they're startled. They don't know what to make of you. They're not feared, but they have that startled look always. Kind of. Not to, what to not understand what man's up to when he sees a man. The you man. What the human up to. And, uh. Being in the Northwest, I love all kinds of animals. I want to do some creatures here. We're developing this eye. It'll definitely be a two part, so uh, that's okay. I don't mind doing two parts. I just want to get some of this the way I like it. And that's always tricky. Okay. And I'm just shaping it right now. As we make this up. And this will be wider. Like here, up into the eye. Tapering away up here. And this muscle kind of comes down this way. And then this is another big area of a muscle and fur. Okay, so let's let's uh, get a dark brush and rough in some browns. 
and then we're gonna do some fancier stuff so I'm gonna even go darker there so I'm gonna put hair into this uh, let's 